What's going on guys, this is Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video and today I just wanted to go over something real quick here. Um, I did an unboxing video of this Galaxy Note 8 that I bought from Amazon fully unlocked. So this is the fully unlocked version that you can get directly from Samsung but uh, Amazon actually sells it so that's where I got mine. I just kind of wanted to go over some things that I really like about this phone um, and I'm trying to say not like but I don't know if there is anything so th this won't be a typical review that you'll see anywhere else I know you can get that pretty much anywhere you want to this is just my real opinions about what it's like to use this phone and how it feels um, and just day-to-day -day use from somebody who <clears throat> has used an iPhone for a really long time for somebody who prefers stock Android too so I, I do like both ecosystems. I've you've seen videos in the past. I have I've had multiple Android phones. I've had multiple iPhones, um, but I do prefer stock Android. That the only reason I'm saying that is because wow, this phone is amazing for for what it is. Being a Samsung phone, all the negativity with TouchWiz, all of the hating on non-stock Android lately. This phone is amazing and i know the price tag should warrant that but you have other phones that get in that price point or close to it that don't offer what this does so first of all in the hand this phone feels crazy good it is it is it is this has to be the nicest phone i've ever held in my hand um, without a case even with a case that i was using felt really good um, they did kind of mess up with putting the fingerprint sensor up here. That's really annoying for me. I, I don't like reaching up there. I constantly smudge the camera, but I don't care because of how much this phone just kills it. Everything about it is just so much fun to use. It's so smooth. And I know over time it could slow down and things like that, but I want to tell you how it feels right now. So for one, feels great in the hand. The symmetry of this device uh, just side to side it feels the same no matter what direction you're holding it and they just nailed it it feels Super solid. It does feel very very fragile. So I wouldn't walk around without a case on this one I just wanted to have it off for the video um, Love the always-on display that shows up and it has the one that I use is my time the date and the Percentage for my battery that logo right there is just saying I don't have a sim card in right now, but hardware wise all this stuff beautiful um cameras are phenomenal they look great video looks amazing very well stabilized um again i don't have samples and things like that that i'm going to show you i just want to give you my opinion the speaker is okay it's um man the phone is so black that you can't even hardly see the speaker that you're seeing down there is the only one you can muffle it up completely just by pushing over it, which it's not a big deal. I do like to watch videos on my phone um, and I haven't noticed a big difference. I do, you know, tend to cup like that a little bit, but not that bad. Um, that's part of, you know, water resistance and things like that is going to be a little bit more muffled, but they could step up their speaker game. That's pretty much one of the only complaints people usually still have. USB-C right here, the quick charge is super, super fast and I really appreciate it. Headphone jack over here. Um, I, I use Bluetooth for pretty much everything, so I'm not one of those people who's extremely affected by the headphone jack being taken away on other phones, but it is nice to have it there. Then we have the Bixby button right there. So it looks just like another power button, but it's on the left. I don't bump that as much as I've seen other people saying. Um, my hand doesn't generally tend to hit that, but I do hit it. I don't use anything to do with Bixby. You, there's all these weird gimmicky type things. Let me see if I can show. Um, if you look at the very top up here, the very, very top, it says you're at Bixby level one. So by doing different things, you unlock Bixby levels. And I'm not a fan of stuff like that. Samsung really wants you to use different things inside the phone that they've never had before, which is fine, and that totally makes sense, but they're trying to replace Google personal assistant with their own. Uh, Bixby's good at doing stuff inside the phone. Google is way better at answering things that you'd ask Google for, so very specific information. Um, so yeah, kind of from there we'll go. The screen is ridiculous. This is the best screen I, I have to say that I've ever seen on a smartphone. It just looks so good and I'll let me pull up I'll pull up one of my videos here just so I can show you a couple things that are 
pretty cool about how you can change the ratio in videos. And I typed it in wrong. So um, what you can do is like kind of pinch to fill out the screen and it will show you the full the full screen size. So if we look, is this on my other? Yeah. Okay. So it cuts off the edges in normal view, but you can pinch and pull it and it will fill. It does crop it a little bit, but you can really see those rounded edges of the screen. And it's just fun to watch like that. Like I was watching, I was just watching YouTube videos forever the other day because it just looks insane. I can't tell you, unless you've seen one in person, especially like I said, with holding the phone, um, to just know how buttery smooth it feels in the hand. It just feels amazing. The screen looks really great. I know I keep saying the same things, but this is the best Samsung phone that I've ever used. There's nothing that's come close. I've had, I had Note 1, 2, 3, 4, skipped 5, 7s uh, were exploding, so I never got one. This was the first um, Note that I've had in quite a while. So back when I had my Note 4, there was a lot of issues with TouchWiz and some lag and stuff. I, at least, I, I still need to try the Pixel phones to see how much of a difference it may make, but I have not had any stutters or jitters. Again, it's it's pretty new, so over time that could happen. I hate having Bixby over there to the left. I wish it was Google now, but I don't wanna change the launcher. Um, but you can even do that. You can put themes on there, so you can see my buttons are more of like a pixel theme um, because I like the look of stock Android a lot. Uh, the the you can you can put a ton of like HD wallpapers on here that look crazy because the screen has such high resolution. It's just Samsung really killed this design and this phone, and I just wanted you guys to know that if you've had sort of on the fence about this phone and maybe you are like me and you prefer stock Android or you've been looking for something else, I would highly highly recommend giving this phone a chance if you have a way to maybe do it where you don't you know, get a restocking fee if you hate it later on. Or uh, you know what, Target actually, if you have a contract carrier, so it has to be like Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, they don't, as far as I remember, charge restocking fees in store. It's part of their trying to get people to use Target Mobile to upgrade their phones. So you can actually buy a phone from them. If you hate it, you can take it back with no penalties to you. So that might be an option for you. Um, just a couple little things too, you know, pulling out the S Pen, super fun to do, it's super accurate now. You can just do these little notes on screen. Um, let me make this wider so you can see it. You can just do all this stuff and you can put it on your always on display and it's nice because it's just fun. No other phones do this and it could be kind of gimmicky but you know, it, it, it does have some use to it too. I mean if that was a grocery list, it's on your always on display and you can go to the grocery store and check stuff off. So. It is definitely a phone for a power user. The battery life is not the best of any Note I've used, but it's still very, very good, especially being optimized with Android. Hopefully this version here will get Oreo pretty soon, or at least at some point, not in a million years. But yeah, that's your super quick, quick overview of this phone. Again, huge fan. I literally, the only thing I think I would say that is a bad idea is that fingerprint placement fingerprint scanner placement. Like it needs to be in the middle, in the back somewhere, and then center the cameras. I know they want the aesthetic to look the way it does or whatever they want, but you know, it's gotta change because that's not a great spot for it. it. Smudges up your camera and it's annoying to have to clean that every time. So like always guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I know a lot of you out there love Samsung phones and you're Samsung fanboys and you'll love hearing the praise I give it, but you know what, if you're an Apple fanboy and you do watch this or somebody who doesn't think the TouchWiz is good enough, I promise you this is definitely right up there with the top performers. This phone is a monster and you will not regret having it. Again, I don't know how long it will hold up and if it will stay that way forever, but for the time being, one of the, one of the best, if not my favorite phones that I've ever used. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and let me know. And as always, I will catch you next time. Later.